Hey guys, what's going on? Jake Pitts here. Today I'm going to show you In the End off of Wretched and Divine Story of the Wild Ones. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. The song is in drop C sharp. Okay, so that's uh, the basic rhythm. Now, the lead over that first part goes like this. With the rhythm, the that last note there, uh, that's the beginning note of the lead. So, this is the way that we do it live. Um, we go and and play. I did something kind of weird there. Uh, so we just play those first two notes and then jump up to the lead and play the lead part. So play. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, dude. Playing that whole part together goes like this. I guess that's good enough, I don't know. stink dude jesus christ wow it wasn't me it was him he's down there can you see him it's all lies he's there though fucking stinky bastard see he's here see there he is <laughs> wasn't lying stinky boy get your butt out of here he just loves to put his butt right by where it just steams right up into my face you stink <laughs> All right, so here's the chorus. So the lead that comes in right before the solo goes like this. Here's that up close and slow. Okay, so on to the solo. So the first part, we're gonna start on the 14th fret on the B string. Run. So, 14, 15, 14, then we're going to the high E on the 16th fret and bending. Down to 
down to the 12th fret on the high E. So then, same thing again, 14, 15 on the B string, and then we double pick the 12th fret on the high E. Then, I kind of do a, a slide with my pinky here. Uh, so up to the 16th fret on your G string, then to the 14th, 13th, and then to the 14th fret on your D string. And then on the next part, it just goes back up that same part. And then the, the picking pattern gets really fast. So then it just moves up there. Alright, so after that fast shred part, uh, we're going to be on the B string again, bending up on the 17th fret. That's the note we're looking for. Pull off to the 15th fret. I take my pinky. You want to use your pinky here, and I'll show you why. Uh, on the G string, on the where are we at, 18th fret. The reason you want to use your pinky, the positioning like this, because then this, your ring finger is then right there ready to hit the high E because you're skipping a string and bend up on the 17th fret. Uh, we are going to start with the pinky on the 17th fret and then pull off to the 12th fret on the high E and then your middle finger, B string, 14th fret. So that's the first part. Then we're going all the way up here to uh, the 19th fret. Kind of, It's kind of a pain. So the next part, we're gonna start on the high E on the 19th fret, pull off to the 16th fret, middle finger on the B string to the 17th fret. And then we go up to the 21st fret and pull off back to the 16th fret. And then so on the way down here, um, this is where we do the sweep, so... back to the chorus now there's a whole uh, lead part at the end too so um, starting out there's a couple different ways that you can do it you can either tap it or you can play it what I like to call not quite chicken picking I don't know <laughs> um, basically it's doing this kind of thing so you can play it like that you know or you can tap it this is just harmonized. If you want to tap it, uh, you just gotta do the tapping sequence correctly. That tapping part goes like this. And then up quick to...
All right, guys, so that was in the end. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it, retweet it, post it, tell your friends, pick up a guitar, learn how to play. Um, also, if you want this guitar, I've got a video up um, showing you some details about the guitar and where you can get it. Uh, links are down below where you can purchase it. Um, yeah, man, that's about all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Later. Whoops, that was a close one, man. I almost knocked the fucking camera over.